Hello everyone, Dark Blaine here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I am back on the free to play account. I just want to go ahead and look at the new hero, Granite, the new Mauler hero. Just want to look at his skills, his signature item, and his furniture. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the heroes portraits tab here and I'm going to scroll down to the uh, Maulers and down here and there he is there he is right here right next to Thali go ahead and just look at him here from first looks he looks really cool here so yeah I believe this this is the hero that was on the uh, on the uh, community tab with the arm here so yeah, this, this definitely looks like the hero that I was looking at before. So yeah, he's a Mauler hero. Looks to be a strength-based hero here. And a tank. His class is, is a tank. And his primary role is a tank. So I'm hoping to see some uh, tanking ability here for Granite. So yeah, let's start over here with his ultimate skill. It's called Sand Vortex. Granite is born from the earth and cannot be knocked into the air. Granite unleashes a tempestuous sand vortex that deals 320% damage to all enemies within its area of effect, interrupting their casting, simultaneously marking them with a mark of petrification. If an enemy is already marked, the mark is removed and the enemy is subsequently petrified, during which time cannot complete any actions or recover any energy for five seconds. Now level two damage received by petrified enemies is increased by 40% and at level three duration enemies are petrified for is increased to six seconds. So it looks like he just pretty much uh, deals damage to all enemies within an area of effect and then they get marked with a petrification mark and if they're already marked with that, the mark is removed, and then they are, and then the enemies are petrified, where and they can't complete any actions or recover energy for uh, five seconds, or if you have them at level three for six seconds. This does sound pretty powerful, especially this uh, second part here. They're not able to recover energy, which means they won't be able to use. They won't be able to use their ultimate. They won't be able to get any energy for their ultimate for six seconds, which is, that sounds really powerful. And also it sounds like this 320% uh, is going to do quite a bit of damage as well. So overall, I feel like it's not a, definitely not a bad uh, ultimate skill. I feel like it's pretty good here. Sounds really good, at, at least. Can we move over to this one? Uh, Earth Tremors. Granite causes surrounding enemies to fall towards himself, interrupting their casting simultaneously, dealing 140% damage to them. Shortly after, Granite smashes the ground, which deals 120% damage to the enemies in front of him, and also sends them hurtling into the air. Now level 2, damage caused by smashing the ground is increased to 140%. Now level 3, every enemy hero struck when Granite smashes the ground causes it him to recover 60 energy points. And at level 4, damage caused by smashing the ground is increased to 160%. So let's see, he's just pretty much doing damage to him and to uh, the enemies here and sends them hurtling into the air. The, do, looks like he's doing two two attacks with this one skill here. And yeah, gain, and with the level 4 just gaining uh, just some more damage here. And also with the level 3, just uh, he's gaining 60 energy points whenever every every hero, enemy hero is struck. When, when uh, Granite smashes the ground, he gains 60 energy points. So yeah, he's gaining energy points, which means he's going to be able to use his ultimate ability faster. So yeah, it definitely sounds like a pretty good ability here. Yeah, it sounds like some pretty good buffs with the uh, levels as well. Okay, so let move, let's move over to the third skill, a Stone Skin. Granite receives a shield that is able to mitigate damage equal to 280% of his own attack rating. 
which exists for 6 seconds. Soon afterwards, Granite transfers 50% of the shield's value to the most injured ally hero, protecting him them for 6 seconds, knocking back any enemies surrounding them in the process. If there are no surviving allies on the battlefield, no shield transfer will take place. At level 2, value of the shield is increased to 320% of Granite's attack rating. And at level 3, duration that ally protected by shield is 4 is increased to 8 seconds. So this is pretty much where that uh, tanking comes from. This is one of, this is the skill that he's using for tanking pretty much. Receiving a shield that is equal to, for level 2, 320% of his own attack rating, which that sounds really, that sounds like a really good shield and exists for 6 seconds on him. And then he transfers the 50% uh, of the shield's value to the most injured ally, protecting them for, at level 3, uh, 8 seconds. And it knocks back any enemies surrounding them, surrounding the most injured ally. So yeah, it sounds like a really good, like a pretty good shield here. And it sounds like it's protecting both him and the most injured ally for quite some time. So yeah, definitely sounds like a really a good shield here. Definitely sounds like a really good uh, protecting ability. Let's move over to the final, the final skill, Earthen Resilience. This one's going to be a passive ability. At the start of battle, Granite receives a shield that is able to mitigate damage equal to 15% of his max health. The shield is reset once every 12 seconds. Uh, in level 2, value of the shield is raised to, to equal 25% of max health. And at level 3, when Granite is using his shield, the damage he receives is reduced by 50%. So this one definitely sounds like a really good ability as well. He's able to gain a shield uh, worth 25% of his max health with the level 2. And the, res and the shield is reset once every 12 seconds, so he's able to use this ability quite a few times throughout the battle. If the battle is going on for a long time, this will de I feel like this will definitely be useful for... Uh, for granite and then also at the level three he's uh the damage he receives is reduced by 50 percent when he uses his shield so yeah it's definitely that's definitely a really good uh that's definitely really good tanking here for uh this ability definitely really good tanking overall from the skills i feel like he's definitely gonna do quite a bit of tanking he definitely sounds like a hero that will do do a lot of tanking especially with like i believe it was this ability uh, or was it this ability here? Um, it might, it was this ability. These two abilities, I feel like they're definitely gonna do, he's definitely gonna do quite a bit of tanking for not only himself, but for his allies as well. Okay, let's move over to the, uh, signature item here. Uh, Desert's Core, signature item skill. It's called Earthly Rejuvenation. If there are still surviving allied heroes on the battlefield, they will additionally trigger the ability Sand Vortex upon Granite's death. So when it, so when Granite dies, if there's any surviving allied heroes, the, the Sand, Sand Vortex ability will be triggered, essentially. That sounds really good there. And at the plus 10, each time Granite uses the ability Sand Vortex, his energy recovery rate is increased by 10%. This effect can be stacked 5 times. So whenever Granite uses the Sand Vortex, he will gain a 10% recovery rate, and it looks like at max he will gain a 50% reco energy recovery rate, which that actually sounds really good. That sounds pretty good there. And at plus 20, each time Granite uses the ability Sand Vortex, his energy recovery rate is increased by 20%. This effect can be stacked 5 times. So it's basically doubling the energy recovery rate here, which that def that sounds even better. And at plus 30, at the start of battle, Granite marks all enemies with the mark of petrification. So yeah, the plus 30, when like having all the all the enemies marked with uh, the mark of petrification, that definitely sounds really good. And definitely with the ultimate ability, he's able to use the ultimate ability, they will be uh, uh, petrified. So yeah, definitely. Definitely, uh, plus 30 definitely sounds really good there for, like, marking all the enemies with the Mark of Petrification. And over to the exclusive furniture here. Let's see what the exclusive furniture has. 
see what uh, the furniture has to offer. Uh, it's called Aftershock. Uh, when you have is 3 of 9. When the shield provided by Earth and Resilience is reset, Granite's next normal attack shall be strengthened. The attack attack's area of effect is increased, and enemies are dealt 240% damage. So that sounds like a pretty good 3 of 9 ability here. It's increasing the damage and the area of effect uh, every time the Earth and Resilience is reset. So yeah, that definitely sounds like a good thing. Strengthening normal attacks. And at 9 of 9, the strengthened normal attack n now allows Granite to additionally steal 100 accuracy points and 10 haste points for 6 seconds from the enemies that are dealt damage. So yeah, this one definitely sounds pretty good here. Definitely with the haste gain, uh, the stealing 10 haste from the enemies for 6 seconds. I believe when it says steal, that means he's going to take the 100, 100 accuracy points and the 10 haste and put them on himself. So, yeah, and it's from the damage that are, that are dealt dam from the enemies that are dealt damage. So yeah, I feel like if it's talking about steal, if it's saying stealing, that means he's going to use the accuracy and haste. So yeah, that, that definitely sounds like a really good ability if that's the case. That definitely sounds like a really good 9 of 9 furniture. So yeah, those are the skills, the signature item and the furniture here. I was, I think he'll probably do his best at uh, maxed out, so plus 30 and 9 of 9 furniture. I feel like, I feel like he'll definitely do pretty good as a tank hero. I feel like he, uh, I feel like he's a, gonna be a pretty good mauler tank hero. So yeah, this will be pretty much the end of the video. I just kind of wanted to review a uh, granite desert stone. Yeah, he definitely seems like a really good uh, Mauler hero. We'll just have to see about uh, testing him out, though, in the campaign and everything. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment. Anything you want to see me do in AFK Arena, and I might do it in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.